Good morning, noon or night. My name is Jet, and welcome to my channel, JITV, Jet in the Valley. So I think I've decided that every single day I'm going to upload a video in order to help anybody who is struggling with any type of mental health issues, okay? We have to start to identify a lie for a lie and a truth for a truth, okay? Psychology, the current psychology has not gotten down to the root of the problem to solve the problem, okay? The root of the problem is people are believing lies. People are believing lies and rejecting truth, okay? There are set there are set rules for the way that reality functions, okay? There is zero way to get around the fact that that is true, okay? When you eat sugar, right? What happens when you eat sugar, okay? Something happens. There, that's just what happens. And it's not like if you think positively that the sugar is not going to go into your body and do all the things that sugar does to your body because you don't, you don't, think it does or you don't want it to okay i don't know people can understand that with physical stuff with matter with physical items just like i said with sugar they're like yeah duh well uh if you eat if you eat, live off sugar you're gonna get diabetes and then they'll say things like oh well everybody knows that or how can you be so dumb or how can you not have common sense like people are super crazy judgmental and they say stuff like that all of the time okay and then they turn around and they don't realize what a hypocrite they are, okay? We're all hypocrites. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We have to identify the truth for a truth and a lie for a lie. A hypocrite is the Greek word for actor, okay? We are acting, okay? Because our spirit, life, force, soul, energy of love goes against and in opposition to our mind and our body. Okay, our mind and our body is animalistic in nature, okay? It does not like love which is our eternal version of ourself the only thing that is eternal and everlasting the only thing that is eternal and everlasting is love okay it's love so if you are identifying yourself with anything other than love being of love then you are identifying yourself with uh with being mortal and with something that dies when you don't have to. If you are a sold individual, meaning you have ever understood or had the, the capacity to understand love, you ever could understand love, okay? I'm not here, this is the thing about it. The things that I'm saying and I talk about love and people could misconstrue it as some like cowardly pushover, I could say a bunch of words, I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. I had four older brothers. I served in the United States Air Force, okay? I'm not just a soccer mom. And when I speak about love, it's not a, like I said, oh, I love you on January or February 14th type thing, okay? We have to start identifying lies for lies and figuring out the truth for truths. So the lie is, that we are something that is just mortal, okay? We are not something, if you've ever understood love, okay, we are not something that's just mortal. The love that's in us is eternal and everlasting and existed before time and, and will exist after time, okay? Because it's very, very clear. Three times it's stated very clearly that not one person of love is going to be lost, okay? It is a fear scare tactic to make people think and to talk about hell and to talk about all of these things, okay? To a person who loves love, who, who, a person that has the capacity for love, you can tell if a person has the capacity for love or not, okay? You start scaring them and, and fear pointing them and beating that out of them, there's not... Um, that you are going to get them to reject the love and to push the love out because they are now scared of it. You've made someone scared of the only thing that's eternal and everlasting and that can keep them safe, okay? Do not do that to someone. 
don't if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything nice at all right is it not true that you catch more flies with honeys than poop right flies will come to the honey okay you're supposed to be a fisher of men okay do you understand most people they don't understand that okay but when you fish go and fish one time so you can learn all the different meanings of it when you fish you have to be patient okay you put something on the hook don't you you put something on the hook that the fish like right and you throw it down right imagine that the water let's see, uh, pretend that the water was toxic for these fish okay the water is toxic for the fish you have to fish for the fish to get them out of the toxic water okay this world is toxic it's anti-love it goes against love okay you have to fish for to get not men get human up out of the toxicity of the nature of this world that's anti-love okay when you fish you have to put something on the hook that they're gonna like right and you have to be patient okay? you my dad would always get so mad at me because I was a little kid so I'd throw my I'd cast it and then I'd just reel it back in and I'd cast it there'd be no fish and I'd reel it back in you know and I do that over and over and he's like stop doing that or go away go down the way you're scaring the fish you're scaring the fish okay when you talk about hell and fear and all of these things, it's like doing the same thing. You're scaring the fish, okay? The fish are not going to come to you. You are not going to get the fish if you continuously try to scare them. They're going to run away from you, okay? If you are selling something that is not of value, you have to be a snaky why, why do you think they say that, okay? You have to be a snaky salesman, okay? You have to make things sound better than what they are to get them sold to people, okay? If you are selling something that is the best thing that's ever existed in the whole entire world, if you are selling something like that, do you need to lie or, or sugarcoat or... Um, um, be snaky or deceptive or anything about that no because the product is good it sells itself when the product is good it sells itself you don't hardly have to sell it so stop scaring everybody and sell the product the product sells itself it's love everybody wants love now you are telling people that love is not loving you're telling you are not correctly identifying what love is okay you have to let love love sell itself okay love is love love is the most high love is the superpower love doesn't need anything other than to be an example okay you have to shine your light be an example let love fill you up do loving things have loving actions mind body spirit soul energy all of it of love reunite cleaned up lift it up and then you will you will be the example that people will look at and see oh well that's right well you don't like the words you don't like the things that i'm saying okay uh but you like the results that i'm getting you know what i mean you'll know a tree by its fruits okay your child is going to be a fruit of your tree okay you can tell people, you can tell a lot about a person when you tell about their children. Children don't know how to hide and children don't know how to lie about things, right? Okay, I'm not saying every child doesn't have their own personality inherently. I'm just saying you will know a tree by its fruit. The, our children are the fruit of our tree, you know. Love is the solution to all the problems, right? Love and what is what is loving? It's loving to teach people that you have to curb your mind and your body. Okay? If you don't if you do not curb and get your mind and your body in check and make it listen to the loving things, okay? Your mind and your body are going to own you and they're going to run you into the freaking ground because your mind and your body are animalistic in nature and they go against love, okay? They are lusty and greedy, okay? And all of those things. And like I spoke about earlier about a parasite, okay? You let some of these things that are anti-love in, okay? 
they are going to take over your neural pathways and have you doing things that are not of you, okay? That is how you can forgive people, okay? You're, you have to forgive because if you don't forgive, then you don't get forgiven, okay? You have to forgive. And if you struggle with that, it's a hard one, I understand. If you struggle with that, the answer is always seeking knowledge, wisdom, and discernment. Okay? Because our minds and our bodies can't be trusted. That's the whole gist about it. Like There's these campaigns that say... Um, that talk about only trusting yourself and you make your own truths and all of these things. And it's like your mind and your body can't be trusted. That's the whole thing about it. Okay. You need love to check your mind and your body. And this is what we need to teach children so that she, they can be strong. If you do not check your mind and your body, it's animalistic in nature and it's greedy and lusty and all of these things and selfish and prideful and everything. If you don't get that under control, okay, and you start to operate from all of those things, the lusty, pridey, greedy, all of those things, you start to operate from that as opposed to love, you're going to get all the gifts that pride and lust and greed and selfishness have to offer instead of getting the gifts of love, the real gifts, which are joy, peace, contentment, kindness, happiness, self-control, and patience, okay? Peace, peace, okay? You can have peace in times where everything is literally insane and nothing's working out, right? You can have peace. You want some, you want peace like that, okay? You have to reject anything that goes against love the best that you can. You have to seek and seek the knowledge, wisdom, discernment to tell what is of love and what is not of love and against love. Okay, love is synonymous with truth, right? So anything that's going against love, which is truth, is a lie and it's false and it's less real. Okay, it's less real. Truth is the most real, the most high, the best everything in love. Anything else is less and weaker and parasitical. Okay, it will it will try to hijack you and live off of you and make you do things that go against love so that it can survive and that it can live and it can survive and function. Okay. Um, I'm going to call that one good because there's all kinds of stuff going on around me and I just really, I really am going to get on here, I think, every single day and tell people encourage them to seek for knowledge, wisdom, and discernment. If you're having a hard time, if your brain is playing tricks on you, if you have anxiety, depression, mood disorders, mood instability, you have chronic pain, you have different you have disabilities, all of these things, that and the other, okay? Your mind and your body are not the truest truth in this day and age, in this era of time, okay? Your mind and your body go against love. You have to recognize, you have to ask for discernment, what is true, okay, and what is not true. It is not true ever that you are not loved. It is not true ever that you don't deserve love. It's not true ever that you are not lovable, okay. That is never, ever true. It's literally never true. We do not even understand. People used to teach this about your mind and your body and the different tactics and the different tricks, okay? It is the standard human condition, okay? There's nothing. It's the standard human condition for your mind and your body to be less than perfect and less than love, okay? So recognizing truth for a truth and a lie for a lie is absolutely literally life or death okay you have life with truth you have death with lies okay you want eternal everlasting life which you can have because love is eternal and everlasting they have proven over and over repetitively for 60 years that energy cannot be created or destroyed right by us by us so what are we where have we been what have we been doing what are we there's nothing new under the sun okay have to recognize a lie for a lie and a truth for truth okay choose the truth choose love choose eternal everlasting life 
choose to reject the lies that are constantly bombarding you and coming in and trying to put you under condemnation, okay? Love would never, ever, ever do that. Love would never do that. Would never beat you down and continue to beat you and just beat you. That is not love, okay? It is a lie. They will call it, it is a lie. And um, I'll, I would like to get into some of the names for that, but I'm going to try and avoid them for right now. So, um, just like always, choose love today and every day and always choose love. And when we get triggered, because these minds and these bodies are very easy to trigger, or when we get scared and when we get all these different things, we just have to ask for help from love and love will come in and, and lift you up. Okay. It's the only thing that can do that. Okay. It's the only thing that can do that. Don't buy the lies, okay? Stop buying the lies. What have they gotten you so far? You know what I mean? Um, you want the truest truth because the truest truth is love and the truest truth is eternal, everlasting, everlasting life. And so with that, much love and I love you. Many thanks. Thank you.